Hi everyone and welcome to my TMC4 Special Edition Legendary Dark Knight Walkthrough. This is Mission 10 and this is a, a long level, at least it took it took a while for me. Uh, some hard rooms like this one. Although I like these enemies, I really do. Not so much the fucking Fausts, but the Mephistos are fun. They are fun enemies to kill. They have their own mechanic and stuff, so I really like this enemy. I, I think I said so in Mission 3. But uh, a couple of hard rooms and not the hardest boss. And I mean Dante. Not the hardest boss, but a really annoying one, especially in harder difficulties. It just fucking combos you and you have no way to to get rid of that unless you cancel it with the with the devil trigger, which you don't really want. I mean you're gonna see me retaliate with devil trigger because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to I th I think that I kill him without even using too much devil trigger because I was using the the, the, the strategy that, that I'm going to to showcase but just safeguard devil trigger to get out of the combo if you if you get if you get stunned by it because it's going to hit you a lot of times and he even has new attacks uh, he hits you with uh, he even tried to hit me with Pandora with one of the harder uh, and most uh, the, the final attacks of Pandora and I dodged, I dodged him, I think he would have killed me so he's really all over the place uh, Dante in, in hard difficulties and so yeah safeguard that, that health for after this fight because as you can see I kinda need it so some puzzles here, not not really puzzles. Here I'm going to wait. I, I think I'm going to wait for the for the slow motion to to use it again in the elevator or not. Oh no, I don't. No, because I, I thought it was another fight, but it's just a switch. Yeah. So uh, Dante is really not not that hard when you when you get the timing. But it's it, it it hits really hard. That's one thing. And he's annoying because he stun locks you with his combo. So I guess with all the bosses being not that difficult, in my opinion, in this game, Dante is the most annoying one. And I guess one of the most difficult ones. Especially in Dante Mastai, it's really hard. I mean, you have to fight it really good and, and really perfect because it, it hits like a chunk and he does all kinds of moves. So he 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 didn't give me much trouble here. I mean, I I, I used two continues in the level, and I'm going to see, I'm going to to tell you where the, the the edited parts are. Uh, I use three continues, and because you, because if you use three continues, it, it lowers your difficulty automatically. It just lowered it, and I, I guess, I guess that meant that I killed Dante faster. But I'm going to have my revenge in the future because I'm going to do uh, that the last time. And I, I, I don't know if I'm going to do the walkthrough again of Dante must die. Maybe I will because. Probably that Dante must die walkthrough is going to come like after I'm done with this and after I'm done with God of War and maybe even after I'm done with uh, Metal Gear which comes out in September and some other games of course that I'm already know what they are going to probably be but I'm not going to mention them right now because they are not final so. Uh, well, this room you really you 
you should use you can choose not to but you should use the it's called wings or what no the wings are the other the other item I think I think it has a mythological name but you, you you have to use the contraption in the middle of the room to slow time and this transforms into a far easier room you should use this uh, at uh, that they must die as well so there we go uh, and I was thinking uh, meanwhile we get to Dante because I think we have uh, a while to get to him so uh, I was thinking about nostalgia you know because uh, I was talking about the latest uh, remastered uh, games and, and remakes I've talked about that a lot and I was thinking how much of this of the current gaming scene and, and even movies are based on all of it or, or, or a, lot, a lot of it are based of nostalgia alone like a base and uh, I was reminded about this idea when I when I saw uh, Jurassic World and Terminator Genesis, which is incredibly bad. I've read that people like that movie actually. I I I don't know how they could like the Terminator Genesis. It's it's almost as bad as Terminator 3 for me. But uh, again, the idea is that. They're using nostalgia throughout all those two movies, Jurassic World and Termi uh, Jurassic World and Terminator. Excuse me. And if you if you really th think about it, the the latest releases that have been all remakes and remasters all ride on nostalgia alone. And when you think about the games that are coming out, they are all sequels. Or 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 even more remakes or, or or really nostalgia based games even the indies uh, have a part of it I mean Pillars of Eternity which is great is, is an awesome RPG but it was marketed as a Baldur's Gate type of game and then we have uh, what, what, do we, what do we have in the next couple of months? all sequels we have Uncharted uh, Trilogy, which is we, uh, which I, I will pre-order because I, I love the Uncharted series and I'm probably going to do a walkthrough on crush difficulty, crushing difficulty of all three games, but uh, even so, uh, I mean, again, we have the problem of, of, of games that we already played or games that are new, like Oh my god, is there is a new Need for Speed that is just called Need for Speed. And I hate when, when games come or movies come to a moment when they stop putting numbers in the sequels. Just like Hitman. What the fuck is Hitman? Can, I, can anyone explain to me what the fuck is Hitman? Because they just marketed a game and they said that when it comes out it's not even going to be complete. And it's not even going to be a, an episodic kind of game. It's going to be like like a game that comes out and then the developers kind of told told you that they are gonna keep releasing content and new missions over the course of the year, next year, I guess. But they didn't they they didn't say episodic. They just said that. You should buy. You should pay sixty dollars for a Hitman game, which is probably going to be really close to absolute to to the last one. What was called Absolution? I think it was Absolution. It was the worst of the Hitman games. So again, other game based on nostalgia. That is basically. A game that is not complete and it's asking sixty dollars for it. It's really asking sixty fucking dollars. It's already on the pre-order uh, uh, in the in the PlayStation Store and the I don't know if it's on Steam. 
I'm sure it is on Xbox One. So, again, we have uh, even on Xbox One, we have uh, uh, the Halo remastered that already came out, that was a disaster. They, they're fixing it, or I, I think they're fixing it still. And they have, uh, they're going to have the trilogy of. Uh, of games uh, of uh, Gears of War, which looks really good. I, I saw some gameplay and it looks really like a proper remaster or remake. I don't know what to call it. So we have Street Fighter V. We have a new Ratchet and Clank that is based on the movie. That's probably going to suck. It's probably not going to be as good as, as Ratchet and Clank. Uh, the second one from PlayStation that was incredibly good. Wow, I'm so fucked up with the names right now. So they're gonna release Mirror's Edge 2, which is kinda a remake. They already said it. It's, a, it's kinda a remachining of Mirror's Edge 1. I, I really don't, didn't like that. They're gonna release a new Need for Speed that's just named Need for Speed. A Hitman that's named Hitman. Oh god. A Battlefront that has only. Uh, I think they said that, that the, the new Battlefront had like 12 levels only and 2 heroes 12 levels and 2 heroes I think and if you think about it that's that's a bare bones release that's bare bones S uh, new Call of Duty once again a new Assassin's Creed once again uh, a new series of FIFA and uh, NBA and a new Tony Hawk which I guess a lot of people is happy of, of getting a new to Tony Hawk but me not so much so what else a uh, new Madden and NFL And even new uh, DLC for Destiny. Why people are still playing Destiny? I don't know. I I played Destiny. Yet. Believe me. I oh, this room is this room is fucking crazy. But I didn't die here. So uh, what is what else are they releasing? Recent tree? What? I'm just reading the list here. They're releasing. Oh, it's for for PS3. So that's not next gen. So whatever, all sequels and all based on nostalgia, heavily based on nostalgia. And I can, I can't really see any of these games like a proper. I I I want new, I I want new games. I don't want only a new God of War, a new they will make they will make cry, which would be really cool, but it's not gonna happen. Uh, a new Uncharted 4 is really cool. Uncharted uh, people, Naughty Dog, they are really they are really really good. So, not complaining about the new sequels that are actually know that they ac I actually know they are going to be really good, but. Uh, this E3, this past E3, that they said, so many people said that it was the best E3 in in, in history, even. I mean, wh what was really announced there? Let's just let's 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 talk about this for a minute. What was really announced that was new? They announced The Last Guardian, a game that's supposed to be released on the PS3 and it was never released. They announced Final Fantasy Remake, which is Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which is incredible. I mean, it's going to be an achievement to cramp Final Final Final, Final Fantasy 7 on next gen graphics. I mean, I I don't even know what they're going to do with it. How they're going to do that? So the, the only new game that they announced was Horizon 
from from the people of the uh, Guerrilla Games from from Killzone. All other things were sequels. So okay, enough enough about that. Uh, we're fighting Dante, and this is not the the video that I died. If you listen to the previous video, I said that I was going to close my death, but it turns out that my death took like seven minutes. So I'm not going to include it because it's going to be boring. You really have to hit Dante when it, when he jumps. You see that he jumps in the air like a like an asshole. When he does that, teleport with, with uh, like this and hit him in the air. He's he basically cannot counter attack in the air. And if you can hit him on the ground when you land as I'm doing sometimes here that's great so see when he when he goes all defensive just walk away don't don't continue to hit him like an asshole like, like I'm doing here because he's just going to hit you back here I'm using some devil trigger to attack him you shouldn't do that you should reserve devil trigger to counter attack him see when he jumps in the air you you instantly teleport to his location and he can he can't do anything to stop you. He can't. It's just a matter of time to to kill him. Just uh, throw the summoning blades uh, all the time at him, so you you keep him occupied, and that's gonna prompt him to to jump in the air. That's gonna prompt the AI to jump in the air and in, in that exact moment teleport to his location. He made a mistake of taunting me there. I'm going full attack now, and, and I shouldn't, because he can kill me in, in a in a single combo. See, I tried to juggle him. I I I, I didn't uh, risk juggling him because I didn't want the the difficulty to lower itself. But I guess I had already three continues. I didn't realize it. And they just tell you in this fucking score at the end, so no way to to know it and it was a long level so whatever I'm going to kill him again as I said in, in Dante Must Die I'm going to get my revenge and I don't know if it's going to be a walkthrough or it's going to be all the bosses alone if I'm going to do all the bosses I'm probably going to do them like uh, no damage or something like that uh, something special and maybe if not that, I'm going to do the walkthrough. So this was uh, mission 10, this was Dante, and we'll see each other in mission 11, guys. Take care.